Hi again. So someone was asking me recently how to measure shaking with an accelerometer. And so I have here a little Adafruit microcontroller with an accelerometer on it. And so you can see this little guy right here is the accelerometer. And then this thing is connected to my laptop. And so you can see that if I just hold this device here, nothing is really happening on my computer screen, but if I shake the device ever so slightly, then some numbers are printed out on my screen. And those numbers are kind of in the range of one or two if I just shake very lightly. But if I kind of shake this strongly, then you can see the numbers go up into the range of, I don't know, 30 or 40 or so. And if I shook this really strong, really strongly, they would be even higher numbers, but I'm trying to avoid breaking anything here, so I don't want to shake it too hard. But yes, as you can see, you know, little, no shaking, nothing happens. A little bit of shaking, I get larger numbers, and the more I shake, the larger those numbers get. And so this is the code that I'm using to do that. And if I weren't lazy, I'd probably post this somewhere so you could download it. But it's not very much code, so it might be good if you just typed it out yourself anyway. But the key insight here is that when you're not shaking the microcontroller, the only acceleration you'll measure is due to gravity. Um, and that's kind of regardless of what orientation this is facing in the total magnitude of acceleration will just be whatever gravity is. Uh, but when you actually shake the device, then the acceleration kind of deviates positive and negative above and below gravity. Um, and so you'll find when it's shaking, on average, the deviation above and kind of average deviation above and below gravity is non-zero. And so in the code here, what I do is first just take the you know magnitude of acceleration. So I take x, y, and z, and then find the overall magnitude of acceleration for the, from that. Then here I subtract out gravity. So then you know I have pos positive and negative deviations above and below gravity. So pos you know positive and negative kind of. And then I square that so that I only get you know, basically positive deviations above gravity. So rather than going positive and negative and positive and negative as you shake the device, it just goes kind of positive and positive again. And then in the last step here, I just, uh, I just filter that signal. So rather than getting this thing that's continually going up and down and up and down, you just kind of get the average of that, which Again, when the device is stationary, it'll just be zero. And the you know more acceleration there is due to heavier shaking, uh, that value will just kind of go up and then stay there. And so, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's how that works. And that's all I have to say for now. So I guess I'll see you next time.